<laughs> How's everyone doing? It's Tim with Dino, and I'm here with a short video about signals. Signals are a primitive but effective way for one process to meaningfully poke another process in order to make it do something meaningful. For instance, if you have a long-running uh, web server uh, that uh, needs a poke to occasionally reload its config without terminating all of its connections or something like that, you would use a signal to do that. Uh, in this example, I have our usual um, Dino micro HTTP server um, started up. And what I've done here is I've added a signal handler so that upon receiving SIG user 1, uh, our server is going to enter a handler function that is going to just print the resources that Dino currently has open, uh, just as a short demo. So in order to get this going, let's run this with... What do you need, allow net? Yeah, allow net module TS. And I'm going to do this in the background so that I can grab the process ID uh, so that I can use the kill command to send the sig user one. Okay, which we have here. Well, first, let's make sure the server's working. Salutations. Okay, yes, it's working. So, uh, kill, one of the probably worst named commands that we have. Um, it's not actually kill that kills the process. It's the signal that kills the process. Uh, you can use kill to send friendly signals to processes too. So kill as sig user one. And our process ID is 69733. And we should see a table full of resources that this process is currently using, which shouldn't be too many. Yes, we do. Uh, now, normally, if we hadn't set up a handler for that signal, it would have been fatal. Um, so uh, let's make sure that um, the thing is still you know, running and doing the thing. Yes, salutations, it is. So um, you can see uh, the signal is being handled. Uh, this could do, as I said, more meaningful things like reloading a config or something or uh, printing out all the connections or, or something like that. Um, to take down signals, if you uh, ever encode need it to uh, only listen or trap them for a short period of time uh, in your code path, you can use dino.remove signal listener, which will also bring up a list of signals um, uh, within your IDE uh, so that you don't have to, you know, Google everything. And um, that's pretty much it for this. Now let's uh, kill this thing for real. Kill dash nine. Uh, what was that process ID? 69733. 69733. So long process. And as we see, there it is. Uh, and uh, so that it's gone for real this time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please share if you did. And I'll see you next time.